Hi, it's Lois here and welcome back. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody that subscribed to me because we've now hit more than 1,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. So thank you so much for your support, it's much appreciated. And thank you to my patrons and my new Patreon group. Um, if you want to join and get lots more lessons, um, two or three every week, then please follow the link below. Today, as the UK is being buffeted by Storm Chiara, I thought I'd paint a quick storm, stormy sky over the South Downs scene. Um, so here we go. Um, wet the paper. All the sky is nearly all wet. And now just a thin bit of raw sienna with a harke brush. And now I'm going in with a fairly thin mixture of um, indigo, just covering most of the sky as a nice light base because now I'm going straight in with dark Payne's grey, um, going straight in, it's almost neat, completely fresh out of the tube, uh, so it's very very dark, I want these to be really big intimidating storm clouds. You can see that the edges are all diffusing really really nicely. Um, I'm sorry I stopped filming there, so there's quite a large gap of just a few large sweeps with a harke brush across the foreground, so you didn't miss much, there were just sweeps a bit like this. Um, I don't want much going on in the foreground, just the suggestion of hills, rolling hills like on the South Downs and maybe a few trees, um, rows of trees in the distance. Um, which is what I'm just going to put in carefully on the crest of that hill on the left, just with the tips of the Harkate brush. As I say, I don't want the land to be too detailed here. I just want it to suggest the landscape, uh, because ultimately this is a sky painting. The, the drama of the sky, I think, is what's going to draw your eye to it. Um, as the clouds scud across the sky, bringing the storm across the downs. Just another line of trees in the far distance, which is just more or less disappearing into the mist. Again, just the tips of the Harke brush, just gently um, tapping down some marks. Um, with the, I think it's indigo, raw sienna, sepia as well, and some Payne's grey. I'm just going to do a bit more detail to the front, just, just something and nothing really is all, all it needs. Um, just a little bit of uh, darkening up a few lines here and there, nothing too much. I'll go in with the card in a minute and just scrape out some, just the suggestion of some, some rough grass that's been blown by the, the wind. I don't want too much, just again, it's another sort of, um, it's another device to use to direct the viewer up to the sky really, because um, the marks that I'm making are diagonal leading up towards that, those clouds and that sky. <laughs> Lastly, just going to just dab out a little tiny bit, a couple of touches across the bottom just to make it look a bit more sort of random and textured. And then just with the rigger brush, um, just a couple of um, dark um, blades of grass just around near the middle. And that's it really, there you have it. That's my very quick, fast and loose, um, stormy sky over the South Downs. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll give it a go. Um, please like and subscribe and subscribe if you haven't already and join us and please take a look at my Patreon link if you'd like to to get more real-time lessons like this. 
Many thanks, and again, thanks so much for your, all your support and for reaching a 1,000 subscribers. I can hardly believe it. I think it's wonderful. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Take care then. Bye.